is a collaboration with programming knowledge. In this video, we'll solve contains duplicate the 217 lead code problem. So let's start with a question. Um, given an array of integers, find if the array contains any duplicates. Your function should return true if any value appears at least twice in the array and it should return false if every element is distinct. So if the unique elements in the array, we return false and if the even one appears more than once or at least twice, then we return true. So the examples here are 1, 2, 3, 1. So since 1 is uh, appearing at least twice, the output is true. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, all unique elements, so the output is false. And here you have a lot of 1s, 3s and 4s and 2s, so the output is true. So uh, here we don't have any uh, constraints uh, regarding the problem uh, where the array should be uh, the size of the array is less than 10 power 8 or 10 power 7 or something like that so this is something which uh, we can ask the interviewee interviewer the, to make the question less ambiguous so that uh, you have more knowledge uh, and you know what to apply to the question so something which uh, lead code here is also done is they've hidden that so you can actually ask that in the real interview uh, to get a better clarification the next thing which you can ask uh, which shouldn't actually make a difference but is also good to ask is whether the uh, array will include negative numbers and zero or not and uh, for each cases whether the whether uh, the array can be zero or can there be an empty array uh, and things like that so once you're done asking, uh, the first thing which comes to my mind is that uh, here uh, to check whether uh, a value appears more than once, uh, we have to maintain the count of each and every element. And uh, once we have the count of all the elements, of all the unique elements, uh, then we can uh, check if the count is more than one. So if it's more than one, then uh, definitely it's appearing at least twice. So uh, we return false. And if we do that for all the array, all the elements of the array, and if none of them have more than one, then we just return false because every element is distinct. So to maintain the count of uh, all the unique values in the array, uh, we can use a map or a hash map. So in C++, we just use a map uh, and uh, shouldn't matter much regarding the time complexity because uh, we are trying to do this in O of n uh, algorithm wise and also uh, the space constant or the space complexity is of n here because in the worst case the hash map or the map in C++ can uh, have all the n elements of the array and yeah so let's start implementing this so we need a map here which has the count and we call this a count map as well uh, the next thing is we what we need to do is loop through the array nums dot size and now uh, what we do is we first check if uh, the count uh, in the map is more than one so if count map so if count map oh sorry count map of nums of i so if this value is one uh, then obviously we cannot add another one or which indicates that this value is appearing more than once so we just do a return false and if it is the first time we're encountering a number then we just add that to the um, count map so count map nums i plus plus so here we tell uh, the count map that we're adding or actually adding an element to our and the frequency of that element to our map and once we have looped through the entire array and we haven't found anything which returns false, then uh, by default, oh sorry, return true because we found uh, a value which appears twice. And if we find nothing uh, or no values which are appearing at least twice, we just return a false. So reread the code before you uh, press run code or submit because you don't want to exploit that run code or submit button multiple times just to see what you've done wrong. Uh, because in the real uh, situation, you will not be having a run code or submit button. You will have to probably write the code on a Google Doc or uh, on a piece of paper and then or a whiteboard and then discuss 
that with the interviewer. So here you have a count map, uh, the variable names look uh, decent. You loop through it, then if you encounter one which is already there, then you return true because uh, it means that there are at least twice of that present in the array. And if there's not, and if it's the first time encountering uh, an element, then you uh, increment the frequency. And if you loop through the entire array and you don't find any element, then you return false. So let's run it now. And uh, the run code test case is true. And now let's do a submit. And let's see. So we have a success, which is 46 times faster. Uh, we could have made this faster with a boolean here, just to see if it's a yes or no. And then you can actually run it again. Or you can also maintain uh, a frequency array. And you know, you do that to actually increase the speed or, the, or decrease the memory. So yeah, this is how you solve uh, lead code contains duplicate 217. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.